everybody, welcome back to my phonics factory with me Emma and my phonics parrot Polly. And before we learn a new diagraph, I was thinking we could play a game. Oh, Polly's in a really excitable mood today, so we'll get started straight away. So here's some clues for the game, Polly. Okay, I hear with my little ear something which sounds like k or n. Or, mm. can you say that, Polly? K or n. K or n. N. K or n. Can you guess what that might be? Have you got an idea, Polly? Oh, you think you know? Okay, let's have a look. See if Polly was right. Ah, k or n. A tin of corn. K or n. A tin of corn. Corn. Mm, I love sweet corn. Delicious. <laughs> oh, can we play another game? Yeah, okay, right. Ready? I hear with my little ear something which sounds like t or ch. T or ch. T or ch. Can you say that, Polly? <laughs> t or ch. T or ch. Hmm. Guess what that might be? Oh, oh, Polly knows. Here she goes. Were you right? Ah, it was a torch. Ah. Torch, torch, torch. Well done, Polly. Ah. Another go. Okay, right, here we go. Here's the clue. K or k. K or k. K or k. Can you say that, Polly? Ah. Or k. Hmm. Can you guess what that might be? Ah, yeah, I think Polly's got it. Have you? Do you know what it could be? K or k. K or k. It's a cork. A cork. You usually find a cork in the top of a bottle, sometimes in a wine bottle. It's a cork. Thanks, Polly. <laughs> ah, you've noticed something. What have you noticed? Ah, all of those words have got an or sound in. Listen really carefully. K or k and k or n and t or ch. Polly, you were right. <laughs> That's right. And so today's digraph is the or sound. Two letters making the or sound. So before we learn the new one, should we see if we can remember some of the old letters and sounds that we've been learning? Take a look. Well done, everybody. You've already known so many letters and sounds, but Polly's gone to get today's new digraph. Have a look. Here it is. It's two letters, you're right, two letters, making one sound. That makes it a digraph, two letters, one sound. So today's digraph has got an O and an R, an O and an R, and together, when you see them in a word, they make the sound OR. OR, an O and an R, making the sound OR. Can you say that? OR. Our turn, OR. Your turn. Our turn or your turn. Our turn or your turn. Polly, would you like a try? Our turn. Ah. Your turn. Our turn ah. or your turn. Our turn. Ah. 
Your turn. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, well done, Polly. That's brilliant. Have a look now because or is going to pop up on your screen. And remember, when you see the OR digraph, make sure you shout out, Oh! We're all starting to recognise that an O and an R makes the sound ah. or when you see them in a word, it's the or digraph. Ah. Oh, would I like to see one that you've already made? Oh, okay, let's have a look. Ah. Oh, clever use ah. of close pegs, good idea, and that just goes to show you can make an or digraph with anything that you can find around the house. So it doesn't have to be closed pegs. What have you used before, Polly? You've used pasta and what else have you used? Potatoes. You can use almost anything to make our new digraph or have a look and see what you've got. But before then, have a look and see how to actually write the or digraph with a pen and some paper. Watch how I do it. So here's how you write the digraph or. We need an O and an R to make an or. So we're going to start with an O. Start on the line, wish up, then just loop the loop and when you get to the top, flick. That's an O. Then we need an R. So an R goes, wish at the, from the bottom, always start on the line remember, so wish up down, bounce off the line, up and over, pen off. So an O and an R making the digraph or Let's try that again. So start on the line, wish up, curve back round, loop the loop, keep your pen on, keep your pen on and flick. And that's the O. And then to do the R, we need to start on the line, wish up, down, bounce off the line, up and over. An O and an R making the digraph or. One more time, start on the line, wish up, back round, loop the loop, and keep your pen on to do a flick. And then do an R, start on the line, wish up, back down, bounce off the line, up and over. So now you know how to write the OR digraph because you've watched me and now it's your turn so grab yourself a pen and some paper and we're going to see how many times we can write the OR digraph with an O and an R while the music plays.
have a look at your writing. Ah, oh, that is brilliant writing. Well done, everybody. Polly's impressed. You already know how to write the O and R or digraph. Well done. <laughs> can we play a reading game now? Yes, absolutely we can, Polly, for sure. We're going to have a go at reading the or digraph in some words with Rob the robot. So remember, look as the letters fly into Rob's mouth, say the sounds and blend them together to read the words. Join in with us. Ork. Ork. Fork. K. Or. D. K. Or D. Cord. everybody that was brilliant reading I loved the way that you said all those separate letters and sounds and blended them back together to read them hmm Polly you've got a pen what have you got a pen for can we play the missing words game we absolutely can play the missing words game so remember this is how we play so you're going to see one two three four words on the screen Remember that, Polly? And then one of the words is going to magically disappear. And then we've got to guess what that word might be. And then think about how to spell that word. So segment it, break it up. So if it was corn, we would say k or n. And then Polly's going to help you write it down. So you'll need a pen and some paper to be able to join along with Polly and me. So here are our words. Or n born, k or d cord, f or n thorn, and sh or t short born cord thorn short born cord thorn short born cord thorn short born cord thorn. <gasps> oh, which one is missing? Um, 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 um. Born. B or n. B or n. B or n. B. So on the line, wish up, down, up, and loop the loop. B. B. B or n. B or n. Or n b or or I need an o and an r to make the or digraph. So an o, loop the loop, and flick, and an r bottom to top, up and over. B or b or n b or n b or n. Start at the bottom. Wash up. Down up. And over with a flick. B or n born. Yay, well done. That was right. We were missing b or n born. Born, cord, thorn, short. Born, cord, thorn, short. Ah, born, k, k, k 
Ord. That's what's missing. K ord. Cord. K ord. K ord. K ord. K. So we start at the bottom for a C or a curly cur. Wush up, curve around and off. K ord. K ord. K. K or an O. And an R oh, make the or digraph. K or d. K or d. K or d. K or d. So start at the bottom, wish it up, curve around, loop the loop, go right up, 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 really high. It's a really long, tall shape. Down and flick. K or d chord. K or d chord. Were we right? Was it chord? Yes, of course it was. K or d chord. Born chord. Oh, what's missing this time? I think it might be Orton. 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 Or n. So we need a T. Wish up, down with a curly bottom, and a cross. So to make this digraph, we need a T and an H. Wish up, 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 down. Bounce off the line, up and over with a flick. Or n. Or, or. So now we need the or digraph and O. So wish up, loop the loop, go all the way round and flick at the top. Or, so an O and an R down, up and over. Or, or, n, or, n, or, n. Or mm, we need it. Mm. So wish up, down, up, and over with a flick. Or n, mm, or n, mm, thorn. Were we right? Yes. Born cord thorn. Sure, we were missing thorn. Well done. Well done, everybody. You're really getting the hang now of this. Or digraph an O and an R making an or sound. Now we're going to play a shopping game. So have a look at my shopping and see if you can match the sentences with the things that I bought back from the shops. Here's a clue. They've all got the or digraph in them. Have a look. So I've got three sentences for my shopping game. One, two, three. And I'm going to try and match my sentences with the things that are in my shopping bag. And all of the things in my shopping bag have got the digraph or in them. So let's see if I can find the first thing in my bag. Ah, I found the torch. Torch. Hmm. I wonder which sentence has got the word torch in. Shall we try this one? See if we can read the sentence. I went. Went. I went. Tricky word to. I went to. Tricky word the. I went to the shops. Shops. I went to the shops. Or for. I went to the shops for a t in tin. I went to the shops for or for a tin of of. I went to the shops for a tin of k or n corn. Tin of corn. I went to the shops for a tin of corn. 
Does that match the thing from my shopping? No, that's the torch. So that sentence is no good. Remember where it is. So our next sentence, let's try this sentence. I went, went, I went, tricky word, to, I went to, tricky word, the, I went to the shops, shops, I went to the shops, or for, I went to the shops, for, a, or ch torch. I went to the shops for a torch. 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 Does that match my torch? Perfect. That's a really good match. Well done. I went to the shops for a torch. I wonder what else is in my bag. Oh, this is one of my favourite things. This is, oh, it even says on the front, pop, pop, k or n corn, popcorn. So we're looking for a sentence which says, I went to the shops for popcorn. Let's see if this sentence is a match. Let's have a look. I went, went, I went, tricky word, to, I went to, tricky word, the, I went to the shops, shops, I went to the shops, or for, I went to the shops for, a tin, tin, I went to the shops for a tin, of, of. I went to the shops for a tin of k or n corn. I went to the shops for a tin of corn. Does that match my shopping? No, because that's the popcorn. That's not the right sentence. What about this one? Does this match my object? I went went, I went, tricky word, to, I went to the, I went to the shops, shops, I went to the shops, or for, I went to the shops, for, p -op -k or n, pop, k or n, popcorn, I went to the shops, for popcorn. Is that a snap? Yes, that matches my shopping perfectly. So that means there's only one sentence left and one thing left in my bag. Let's see if this is a match. So this is my tin of corn. Let's see if my sentence matches that. I went went, I went to, I went to the, I went to the shops, shops, I went to the shops or for, I went to the shops for, at in tin, I went to the shops for a tin of, of, I went to the shops for a tin of k or n corn. I went to the shops for a tin of corn. Yay! Well done everybody, you really sorted out my shopping. That was brilliant, thank you so much. And before we go, I was just thinking, I'd really like to write a sentence about one of the things that I bought in my shopping, which was my corn, my tin of corn. And the sentence that I was thinking that I would really like to write is, I went to the shop to get corn. Oh, that's quite a long sentence. I went to the shop 
to get corn. I went to the shop to get corn. I went to the shop to get corn. Let's clap it. I went to the shop to get corn. Let's tap it into our heads to remember it. I went to the shop to get corn. Let's count it one last time. I went to the shop to get corn. Eight words in our sentence. I went to the shop to get corn. So grab yourself a pen and some paper and let's get writing. So in our sentence, I went to the shop to get corn. I'm going to need two tricky words. I went to, there's the tricky word to, so that's going to help us to spell the tricky word to. I went to the, and there's the tricky word the. So when we come to those words, we've got them there with our magnetic letters to be able to help us. But the first word that I need in my writing isn't to or isn't the, it's I, tricky word I, and a capital I because it's the beginning of our sentence. So we're going to start over here and do a really tall I joining with me. So start at the top, go down and across and across. That's the tricky word I, I, I went. Mm. So I need a finger space and then I need to be able to spell went. How would I spell went? W, e, n, t, w, e, n, t, w. So start on the line to do a w. Go whoosh up, down, up, down, up with a flick. W, I, w, e, n, t, w, e, e, e. So I need to do an e or an e sound. So start on the line, whoosh up. Scoop out the Easter egg and stop. W e eh, n t went. W e eh, n t went. W e eh, n t. W e eh, n. So I need a n next. So start on the line. Wish up, down. Bounce your pen off the line. Over. Down, 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 and flick. W e eh, n. Mm, t, 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 t. Mm, I can see one of those over here. So to write a t, I need to start on the line, join in with me. Wish up, 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 and down with the curly bottom. Curl it round, take your pen off, and then go across. W, e, eh, n, t, went. I went. Good job. So the next word, I went to. I went to the shop to get corn. I went to. Mm, tricky word to. That's going to help us. So, I went to. So it's a T and an O. So finger space. Let's do a T first. So start on the line, wish up. Down, 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 down. Curly bottom and across, so that's the T, we can get rid of that, goodbye. And we need an O, so start on the line, whoosh up, curve it round, all the way back round loop the loop, and flick at the top. I went to, and we can get rid of the O. I went to, I went to the shop to get corn. I went to the. So my next word is the. I can put a finger space and look, here it is, the tricky word the that's going to be able to help us. So I need a T and an H and an E. So let's start with the T. So start on the line, wash it up, down, 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 down with the curly bottom and a cross T. You can get rid of that. And then the next letter is an H, so start on the line. Wish up, 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 it's a really tall shape, this one. High, 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 down, 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 bounce off the line, boing. Up, over, and flick. 
T-H and last one is an E. So that starts on the line, whoosh up, scoop up the Easter egg and down. The. Good job. I went to the. I went to the. I went to the shop to get corn. I went to the shop. Shop. I went to the shop. Now there's not enough room there to write shop, so I think I need to go underneath. And when I write shop, what sounds can I hear in the word shop? Shop. Shop. Sh. Which two letters make the die graph? Sh. That's right, it's an S and an H, so start with the S. Shop. So start with the S, wash off the line, curvy shape at the top, curl it all the way back round, rub the six tummy and stop. So there's the S. Shh. I also need an H to make the digraph. Shh. So start on the line, wash up, go up, all the way up, 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 up. Down, 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 bounce off the line. Shh. And flick. Shh. Up. Oh, shh, oh, let me think. Oh, ah, I can see one there. Shh, oh. So, can I do start on the line, wish up, curvy shape, all the way back round the loop, the loop, and flick. Shh, oh, shh, oh, p, p, p. So, I need a p, a p. So, start on the line, wish up, then go all the way down. It's a really long, straight shape. Up, up, up to the top, and then loop the loop around and flick. Shh, up, shop. I went to the shop. I went to the shop. Now my sentence was, I went to the shop to get corn. To. So I need the tricky word to again. Finger space. So it's a T and an O. So start on the line, wash up, down, curvy bottom, and take your pen off and across. And then an O. So start on the line, wash up, curve your shape back round, all the way round, loop the loop, and flick. I went to the shop to get. I went to the shop to get corn. Get. How would I write get? G, e, t, g, e, t. So I would start with a g sound, a g. So I need to start on the line, whoosh up, curvy shape, then all the way back round loop the loop. And then this one's got a long tail that goes curly, twirly, round and stop. G, g, e, t, g, e. G, E, so I need an E, an E making an E sound, so start on the line, wish up, go scoop at the top of the Easter egg and stop, G, E, T, G, E, T, T, so I need a T, again a T sound, so start on the line, G, E, T, start on the line, wish up, down with the curvy bottom, take your pen off and go across. I went to the shop to get, I went to the shop to get corn, k or n, and the kind of k I need is a C or a kelika. Now we've not got enough room there, so we need to go underneath. So k, start with a C, start on the line, wish up, curvy shape, and then all the way back round. That's an easy one. Or corn, k, or what's her digraph? Or what did that look like? That's an O and an R. So I need an O. I start on the line, wash up, all the way back round, and loop, the loop and flick. K, or O and an R. So to do an R, start on the line, wash up, down, up, and over. Or n, n, n. What makes 
something. Ah, we need an N. So we start on the line, wish up, down, bounce off the line, up and over with a flick. Orton corn. I went to the shop to get corn. Can you read that? I went to the shop to get corn. One last time. I went to the shop to get corn. Full stop. Let me have a look at your writing. Oh, that is amazing writing. Well done everybody. You really know now that an O and an R digraph in a word makes the sound or, and we've practiced it in words, and we've practiced it in reading our sentences, in our shopping game, and now we've used it in a sentence. I wonder if Polly's remembered that an O and R together in a word say or. I wonder where she is. Well, if Polly is sn or -ing snoring, that means it's time for us to go. But remember, have a look out for this or digraph. Have a look in your books at home. Have a look in your kitchen cupboards or labels all around the house because I'm sure you'll be able to find the or in lots of different places. And remember, if you haven't had enough of learning about the OR digraph already, then you can look down because there are lots of activities. Get a grown-up to help you. They'll be able to help you find lots of things for you to do with our new digraph OR. And remember to subscribe to the channel because Polly and I will be back another day with a new digraph. So until then, look out for the OR. Bye.